All right, hello everybody. Uh, today we are going to walk through an owl pellet dissection. Now, I'm sure a lot of you have heard of owl pellets before. You may have even seen them or picked through them in a science class or at summer camp. This little thing before us right here, this is an owl pellet. Now, uh, one of the first questions a lot of people have about the owl pellet is, uh, is that something that comes out the rear end of the owl? And in fact, no, it does not. What you are looking at is something that is regurgitated by the owls. It's also not something that's unique to owls. In fact, there are hundreds of species of bird that will produce pellets uh, out of the prey that they have eaten. And owls are just one group among those birds that does it. But what's unique about the owl's pellet is the amount of information that we can find hidden inside of it. So what happens when an owl eats is that it catches its prey and then it pretty much eats its prey whole. It doesn't chew at all. It just has a beak for ripping and tearing, swallows down its prey, and because owls don't have the crop, that storage pouch that uh, most other birds have, the prey goes straight into the foregut of the owl. And while it's in there, that's where the digestion starts. But owls have kind of weak stomach acid compared to other birds of prey. So their stomach acid only really breaks down the meat of the prey and the fur, the feathers, the bones, all those bigger hard parts the owl can't digest that, so it's got to do something with those hard parts. So what it does, back in the gizzard, it packs those pieces together into a little shape like this, kind of an oval shape. And before the owl's next meal, it will regurgitate the pellet made out of the hard parts of its prey. Which means that inside of this pellet, we might find the bones of a rodent or a bird. You might even find some insect pieces all those little bits are hidden inside and that's what we are going to pick through today to find. So I've got everything I need right here. I've got myself a magnifying glass, an owl pellet, some tweezers, and some chopsticks, and then of course a very helpful bone sorting chart to help us figure out what we're looking at. Now this is something you can do at home yourself. If you find an owl pellet out in the wild, you would want to sterilize it first before you use it and you can read instructions for that online. You can also actually order owl pellets online as well that have already been cleaned up and sterilized. So if you get yourself an owl pellet, uh, you can do exactly what we are about to do here. Now, I'm gonna start with my tweezers. Uh, I can already see there are some good bone chunks protruding, sticking out on the outside here. We got a little chunk of bone there. So I'm just gonna gently go in and start to pry the fur away from those chunks of bone. So you can see there, we've already got a nice bone right here. So I am going to gently, with my tweezers, remove that bone. So here is our first owl pellet bone. I see there's a little circular nub right up at the top here that tells me that this is a part of a long limb bone, so either a front leg or back leg and that's where it would go into the socket of a joint. And it's pretty small, so I'm guessing this is probably from a small rodent, and that this is probably one of the pelvic bone, or excuse me, not pelvic bone, a, uh, a femur, which would then go into the pelvis. So it looks like it might be either a shrew or some kind of a rodent. So I'm going to just, for now, put it over in the shrew category but I'll come back to that later. Now I'm going to continue with my tweezers. It's a little bit hard there so I'm actually going to take my chopstick here give me a little leverage I'm gonna push down and the fur is peeling back. I think we might have a skull in here. So I'm gonna go back in with my tweezers and do a little bit of peeling of the fur back from this big chunk of bone that's in here. And I'm using my fingers as well to help. Oh, there we go. Starting to reveal the shape of this big piece of bone in here. So we are starting to get at a skull of something. So I'm coming in underneath here. 
gently pulling up and it's a pretty complete skull as well so i'm gonna let you take a look at that so what you're looking at here is the upper part of the skull then the lower jaw i'm gonna see if i can get it a little bit cleaner pick some more of this fur out Okay, so here is that upper part of that skull. It's back here is where the eyes of that little rodent would be. Here's where the brain would be. And then right up here, the reason I know that this is a rodent skull is because it's got two big bright orange incisors right up in the front. So this is definitely the skull of something like a a mouse, maybe a vole, uh, could be a very, very small or young rat, although it's a little bit small for rat, but uh, some kind of rodent. So I'm going to set that on the rodent part of the bone sorting chart. I'm going to keep on cleaning down here because we still have the lower jaw. So there's one half of the lower jaw. So right here, uh, easily mistaken for a shoulder blade. Uh, but if you look, there is that big incisor and you can see the little teeth along the back as well. So that's what tells us that we are looking at the lower jaw of a rodent. So here's the other half of that jaw. So you can see those teeth that I was talking about. So this owl, clearly swallowed the head of this rodent whole. And it looks like that was all that I had in that chunk of the pellet. So I'm going to work on the rest of my pellet, which still looks like it's got some secrets to yield to us. So I'm gonna keep on picking it apart. We got a couple more big chunks of bone that are revealing themselves here. Some small chunks too. It's a tiny little piece that I just pulled out here is most likely a rib bone. I have another small piece there. So those would be ribs from a small mammal. So I'm gonna keep on picking through. Now I've got it. Here's a really interesting bone. Set that down there. It's a funny looking bone because it's got this open space and then this little cup shape. Now this is a pelvic bone. So this is where the legs attach. And that little cup shape is where the ball joint here would go in of this long leg bone would go into the pelvis right there. So I'm gonna put this down on the chart as a pelvic bone and put the hind limb bone back on the hind limb portion gonna keep going because I think we've got more to see. It's another hind limb bone here. In fact that might be the twin of the one that we were just looking at. And looks like there was more than one rodent for dinner for this owl. We've got another lower jaw right here. So I'm gonna put that lower jaw Another hind limb bone. And then, now we've got ourselves yet another hind limb bone. So this would go below the femur. Another hind limb. got a lot of nice little pieces buried in the fur. So this might be part of that matching set with that hind limb bone we just saw. Continuing to poke on through here. 
here I'm starting to find some little bits and pieces of things like vertebrae or uh, backbones, some little teeth pieces, little bones that might be part of essentially the fingers and the toes of the rodents. Dig through a little bit more. Ah, this is an interesting bone. This one is a backbone of vertebrae from something. You can see the vertebrae right here. That is one of the backbone pieces. Go through a little more. This is a very bone rich pellet. There are a lot of bits and pieces in here. We have another pelvis. So you can see another pelvic bone. got another hind limb bone. This owl must have had quite a meal. Another piece of pelvis. So just looking at the number of bones that I'm finding here, for sure this owl had more than one rodent or prey item for dinner. You might even be finding part of another skull in here. And yes, there is. So I'm going to pick away everything else to try to clear out the bits and pieces of another skull. So right here, it's uh, kind of coming apart just a little bit. We do have another lower jaw and to go with that it's coming apart but we have part of the upper jaw and the second half of the lower jaw so this is definitely another skull so that is at least two rodent skulls in our owl pellet we got more limb bones we've got another limb bone, lots of little bits and pieces of rib, of vertebrae, all hidden in here. Take quite some time to go through all of this. I think we've now found all of the big bones inside this owl pellet. So now I know a little bit more about what this bird had to eat and scientists who study these owls can actually go through and not just identify by rodent versus bird versus shrew versus mole, but they can actually even identify the species potentially that the owl was preying on. So there's a lot to be learned from an owl pellet, lots of cool stuff hidden inside of it. I hope you guys enjoyed getting to see an owl pellet dissection. Uh, like I said, this is something you can do at home if you go online, you can find yourself some owl pellets and experience the uh, adventure of picking through an owl pellet yourself. So enjoy. Thank you for watching.